back um, in this one we're going to have a quick look at uh, our layer comps and what to actually do with them so in the previous video I did show how to use layer comps which help us to organize rather complex documents into a couple of examples that we can show to ourselves or clients and cycle through them and there's, they're very very handy um, but what can we do with these well first of all we can actually change the order of these very much the same way we do with existing layers but how do we send these out so if we jump into file down to export what you'll notice is that the layer comps have two options that are about the middle way from file export layer comps to files and layer comps to PDFs now previously in earlier versions these were down somewhere I think in scripts um, but they've been promoted so they are now part of um, Adobe Photoshop as a general export so let's have a look at this. so file export layer comps to files as our first start it's going to ask you where you want to save this so I can go browse desktop I've got a client folder that I've got set up and I can go open you can give this a prefix so let's call it face underscore var variation and you can also select and choose to have select layer comps only so you can choose an, any number of these or all of them or one of them depending on what you want you may have some own copies that you only want to send your client in which case we can cancel out of that and by holding down uh, command or control you can see I can select particular ones um, let's select say those three there let's go file export layer comps to files Go. You can, there it is there, select layer comp, so it's only going to use these three here. You can choose your layer type, uh, your file type. I'm going to go with the standard JPEG and include ICC profile. That's great. Choose your quality. Um, at the moment, I'm going to leave it fairly high and I'm going to show you why because we're going to use uh, Adobe Acrobat DC to fix this up. I'm going to hit run for this. Uh, and I've actually f didn't actually place them in the file correctly so let's put them in there and there we have them there we've got those three folders that I've uh, layer comps that I've selected and they're off in their own folders okay well that's all well and good um, but what else have we got so one of the ones that I really like to do and I recommend you use this as well especially if you're doing client work is using file export layer comps to PDF. Now, let's place this in the client folder. Great. Hopefully it works this time. Um, selected layer comps, I actually want all of them, so let's just leave all of those as is. You've got a slideshow option, so if we are gonna send this as a PDF, you do have the option of having this set up as a slideshow if you wish. Um, it's not a bad thing, so let's leave it as that loop after the last page if you are going to have a slideshow hey why not and then all you need to do is hit run and this will might take a, a, a short while it'll sort of cycle through them but it'll tell you when it's done um, if you haven't previously saved your work it will come up with a warning saying you must save your work so just do that um, I presume it's also part of a fail safe in, in, sides, uh, in case your computer decides to crash so should almost be there. A few more moments. Uh, one of the downsides of using such a uh, large image sizes is and having a lot of files it will take a, quite a while for it to go through as it processes each of those layers each of those folders and um, basically sticks them all together great PDF was successful so I'm gonna hit OK let's have a look at my client folder there he is there 
So here's the previous faces that I've put in there. I'm actually just going to delete those. And here is my PDF, and I can open that up. Um, it'll usually come up saying it's trying to open in full screen mode. I don't want it in full screen mode for this. Um, control negative, and you can see I can start cycling through my pages. Now you can view this in um, scrolling, for example, and there we have it. It's put all our pages in order. Now hopefully what you can start noticing is this has got a great potential if you want to do a document for your client. You could put a title page on there, you could build that as a layer comp, export it all out, that kind of thing. So it's, it's pretty impressive. The only issue that I really do want to stress with this is the actual image size. So um, if we have a look over here, this is currently 17.8 megabytes. So it's, it's a bit big to email. Remember, maximum you want is about five. Anything above that, you can run into some problems. And yes, you can do things like Dropbox and, and various other third party sort of things, but you want to make this as easy as possible for your client. Almost any client is going to be open, able to open a PDF, but if they bounce or can't send through or there's a firewall, uh, it's not going to look good on your behalf. So I'm going to show you how to reduce this size down. So to do this, I'm going to right click on this and open with, and open it with Adobe Acrobat. Now this is a paid product, so if you don't have this, you won't be able to do this. Almost everyone will have access to Adobe Acrobat Reader. That's just a reading document. Um, but I'm going to open up with Adobe Acrobat. And it's using Adobe Acrobat DC. So let's open that up. No, I don't want it in full screen, but thank you. Here's my document. Uh, we've had a look through that already. Let's see if we can reduce this down. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is that Adobe Acrobat Pro DC is a very powerful bit of software. Um, I'm going to click into this tools panel. And this is the huge array of tools that Acrobat can actually do. Um, you can do stuff like organize pages, where you can move pages around in different orders, or rotate them, or delete them. You can also insert other places, replace, split, a whole lot of other things. But let's get back to back to document. Let's go to tools. Um, a few other things that I'm not going to show you, but um, fill and sign, you can get your thing for your clients to actually add a signature, you can create uh, dynamic stamps, you can redact things, um, and also you can add uh, video via rich media, um, and audio, and also 3D, so it's quite a bit involved there, and you can create interactive forms as well, but that's for another time. Uh, I'm going to go to this one here, it's towards the bottom, Optimize PDF, and I'm going to click on that. Great. Our first option here is Reduce File Size, and that's what I want to do. So it's going to say I need to save it, so let's save it, Command S, and Reduce File Size. Now we've got Make Compatible With, and Acrobat 10, Acrobat 9, Acrobat 7, 8. Um, these are all earlier versions, you can go retain existing. I will typically use about Acrobat 7, um, just to be on the safe side, I know some people don't. This is a simple document, there's nothing too complex in it, so it should be okay. And I'm just going to hit okay. I'm going to give this another name, and title's not a good name, so let's go face there for client. So do try and give it a different name. Um, for some reason, even if you do give it the same name and override it, it sometimes doesn't work so well. So, and I'm going to hit save. Here it is processing. Always good to know. Uh, usually comes up with a few documents, uh, masks. Well, we're not going to see those anywhere. Um, so that doesn't matter. And here's my variation. So here's the previous one, 17.8. My new one for a client is 2.1. So not too bad. Um, let's open it up with Adobe Acrobat Reader this time. Let's try to put it in full screen mode again. Uh, 
asking me to sign up. If you do not have an account with Adobe Acrobat, it will ask you to sign up if you try and use any of the features and it's trying to sell you on um, what Adobe Acrobat can actually do. And I do not want to sign up. It's just being anti. All right. We'll close that down. It's being argumentative. Let's just open it up with Adobe Acrobat. Let's go yes this time. Oh, the errors. And just have a quick check of its quality, but nine times out of ten, the quality should be just fine. Nothing that the client's really going to have too much of a complaint about. Um, and nice and easy, emailable, compact, and a lot easier to manage. And if your client does want to change anything, um, and so, you know, do a slight color variation or something. Um, it shouldn't be that hard to do because you just need to change that one item and, and you can resend that out and re repackage it. So enjoy that. Um, it's a really handy little thing to use. Remember, layer comps and then also exporting those layer comps into PDFs. Um, super great way to do a really quick graphical uh, style presentation that your client can enjoy. Thanks very much.